Hello, today I'm going to show you a 5 minute look. I'm going to highlight the Bare Essentials Fab and 5 kit. Unfortunately this kit is no longer available. I do not have the box, but here's a little pamphlet thingy it came with. Um, I really don't know what these AM, PM thingy say, thing say, but it's not so much about the kit as it is. Pick a few things you want to wear and, you know, just you know, the most important things to you. To me, two of the most important, three of the most important things, your brows, eyeliner, and mascara. That's me. Sometimes, you know, some people don't wear eyeliner, so skip the eyeliner, obviously. Um, one thing I'm going to incorporate in this kit, for sure, besides the brows and mascara, um, is foundation. I feel a little bit better with something on my face so I'm going to show you what I do for that. First of all, the stuff in the kit, Soft Focus True, all over face color, Finesse Eye Color, and Morocco Eye Color, which is brown. The other two are pinky shades. Um, you also get Tenet Mineral Veil, Sugar Buxom, and two brushes the Flawless Fan and the Tapered Eyeshadow. I don't like this brush at all unless you just want a light sweep of color on your face. Maybe if you're super pale that'd be good for you, otherwise I don't like it. Tapered Eyeshadow, um, good lid brush, good small foiling brush, good corner brush, not good all over brush. There's better brushes out there to do that. So today I'm going to be using Everything in the kit except the brushes, with the addition of my moisturizer, which is Clinique Dramatically Different Moisturizing Gel. Use whatever you like. My foundation mix. Um, the Full Flawless Brush. My mascara, which is Clinique High Impact in Black Brown. On the green, sparkly green tube. Um, medium brown, dark blonde eye color. Brow brush, full tapered shadow brush, full edge liner brush, and the soft sweet brush. Okay, first thing I'm going to do, stopwatch, don't hit it, don't hit it yet, Lindsay, go, okay, normal amount of moisturizer in your hand, put your foundation right on top, just guess how much you use on a normal day, if you want a little more coverage, add a little more, why do I always hit my camera, mix that together, or a tenon moisturizer. Just kind of scoop it up out of your palm onto your face and rub it in. I'm not going to talk too much because I don't talk when I get ready and I get ready a lot faster. <laughs> Now, if you want a little more coverage, just go back with a little bit of foundation. Tend mineral veil. I love the coverage this goes. Enough. <laughs> just for a light sweep, you don't feel so naked. Um, soft focus, true. Basically use this as, as a blush. And then as a highlight, and the, and the three on the nose and the chin. Going to use um, our brow color. Just fill in our brows a little bit. Because I need it. You guys might not need it. Still growing mine out. On to finesse. I'm going to just do a sweep of this on the brow bone and kind of sweep it down. Then we're going to get a little more. I'm just going to go into my top of my sifter that has a little more color on it and pat that onto the eyelid. Okay. 
Okay, into Morocco with our soft, sweet brush. Just gonna go, just get a little bit on the edge and just into the crease. If you're gonna take your time on anything, take your time on this because it is a dark color, although not too dark. And this is the color that's gonna look the bad, the, the bad, <laughs> the worst if you do not take your time. I'm just kind of blend that out. It's dark, but it's not. I don't know. I almost wish it had a little better color payoff. Full edge liner. As you'll see in the pictures, it doesn't really. I don't know. It's not the best liner color. Uh, if you applied it wet, it'd probably be even better. But I think it. You can see it a little better on the bottom lashes. There's a lot of sparkle to this, so there's a decent amount of fall decent amount of fallout. Just like that. Well it's gonna complete this look as mascara. And the box of course. Can't forget that. If you're gonna do a quick look, look, you want a good mascara. So you don't wanna to have to curl your lashes. Just like that, except for sugar. Love this buxom. And there we go, let's check our time. Four minutes and 36 seconds and 92 milliseconds. Not too bad for under five minutes. Um, if you have a little more time, obviously add some stuff to it. Um, get your max coverage concealer brush, add a little foundation on any splotches you might have. My cheeks are a little red from washing my face this morning. But, um, you know, and some other stuff, use your primetime eye, uh, foil finesse on the lid. Um, you know, and these are all kind of things you can just pick one. Pick one to add to this look, just, you know, to make it a little better. Um, put another layer of foundation on over your tinted moisturizer. And if you just want to light, a light layer, use your full flawless brush. Um, want something a little heavier, use your heavenly face brush. Um, think of what else. You know, there's there's multiple things. Get your bisque out. Cover, you know, use your actual bisque. Get, um, wet line Morocco. Use a different liner. You know, there's multiple things that you can do to make it a six minute look, you know, or a ten minute look is, is good for a lot of us. I know I used to be able to do my regular makeup before BE in ten minutes and with BE I can't do that because of all the little drawers and this flying there and that flying everywhere. So um, I really, I really do like this look. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed and I hope you uh, learned something. If you have any questions or comments, let me know. Thanks for watching.